Hi and welcome to the Investigate Layer in Tool. This tool allows you to look at multiple data sets under a single point. And as you move your mouse around the screen, it'll change those values and show you both in a chart view and a list view what you're looking at and what's under your mouse arrow. So first you're gonna go up to your toolbar and click the Investigate Layer. The first time you click it, you should get a dialog box that explains a few things about the Investigate Layer. I suggest you read through that before you press don't show again. So right now you'll see in my layer manager that I have a new investigate layer. As I move my mouse around the screen, you'll see that there's no available data in the chart or the list. And this is because there's no numeric data and there's nothing under my mouse button. So I'm going to show you how to add different data sets that you can look at all at once. So you are going to go to add new layer and then advanced map. This pulls up different data sets that you can look at. Now in your single visible map, you're gonna add the map that you wanna see in the background. So for me, I wanted to see the colorized MOLA data. So I clicked that and I dragged it to my input. And in your plots, you're gonna grab different data sets to view. So I'm gonna cancel this and show you the one that I had already made. Double click it. So you'll see here that I added several different plots to my map and I wanted to see the MOLA map in the background. So I'm gonna go back up to my toolbar and make sure that my investigate layer is clicked. And now as I move my mouse around, you'll see that these values are changing and gives you the name of the layer that's being shown and the numeric value. If you want to see a chart, you can just click your right arrow key and it displays a chart of those values. Now you can actually save these different data spikes. If you click your mouse on the screen, it'll bring up a dialog box asking you to name your data spike. And now you'll see on my main screen that I have a spike zero. So I'm going to double click my investigate layer and you'll see that one of my tabs is actually spike zero. I'm going to click that and there's the chart. As you move your mouse across the chart, you'll see that the name ID at the bottom is changing. So at each whole number is a different layer and you can see the value at that point for each layer. If you wanna change the properties of your chart, you can right click and click properties and change whatever you like. For example, you can change the background Press OK, and it's pretty bright, but you can see that it's changed. If you want to save this out, you can press Save As, or you can export the numeric values as in CSV. You'll see that on my main screen, you have the spike zero and the color of a dot where you are saving that data. In the display settings is where you can change that. So if I want to change the dot color, I can. If I want to change the size, I can. So there's a lot of different things you can do with it. If you want to delete the spike completely, you can click delete data spike. And it's gone from your investigate layer. You can actually add a few different data spikes if you like in different areas. And now if I click my investigate layer, I'll see all three of those data spikes. If you want to rename your data spike, you can. Now one thing to keep in mind, if you don't save this data out, you will not see it again once you erase your investigate layer. So you'll see that I have three different data spikes on here. I'm going to click out of here and erase my investigate layer. I'm going to add a new one. Now when I open this one, you'll notice that all my data, data spikes are gone. So you need to save it out in order to see it again. Well, that's a quick tutorial on the investigate layer and tool. Thanks for joining me.